Okay, so welcome to um, just a quick overview of the exam to review handout that was done at AWC's Chem 151 Supplemental Instruction Session yesterday. I just want to go over the first few pages that we did yesterday, including the vitamin A molecule where we're just looking at molecular structure and formula, molar mass, and some stoichiometry conversions between moles and atoms. Uh, we also did a little bit of concentration here. This is a future lab reference weight over volume percentage, so it's grams over milliliters times at 100 for your percent. Molarity, parts per billion, molality, which you haven't gotten to yet if you're in the AWC, but something that's good to know. And then a little bit about your redox reactions. That's on the first page. The second page is just some true and falses, just to get you knowing the theory. I want to emphasize this for one thing being don't forget to look at your labs if you're doing if you're watching this to prepare for the exam too. And Graham's law of effusion, which is the new gas law where we have rate one over rate two is equal to the square root of the molar mass of two over the molar mass of one. This is that inverse relationship. And then we also did a little bit about gas laws. We looked at the ideal gas law here and the Henry's law, not forgetting that if you have a direct proportion, this is what your graph is going to look like, and being able to recognize units and identify which gas law you're doing. The third page, we continued on with gas laws. This is a good bit of theory, knowing that molecular speed is proportional to molar mass. So the faster the molecular speed, the lighter the molecule. And then this, the U2 manometer, a very good thing to know, especially uh, for General Chemistry 1 at ATVC uh, for, um, for the gas, the U2 manometer. Definitely know how this works, what it means, pressure for the atmosphere, pressure of the gas, and definitely know how to convert between gas uh, units, millimeters of mercury, ATM, or TOR, or pounds per square inch, or um, a, a couple others that... Um, I think the ones that you mainly want to know are TOR, ATM, millimeters of mercury, millibars, pounds per square inch, or PSI, and um, that we, we did go over this though, so just, just be aware of these, and know the theory behind what, what goes on when you're using U2 manometer. Professor Donnelly has some really good videos about that, and of course you can find some on YouTube. Then this is just a question going over for the Graham's uh, Law of Effusion, we see this um, the formula and know that 1 over 2 is the same thing as the square root and this is just how we would set up the problem then just plugging it in solving for the molar mass of 2 and in this case we got 70.3 for chlorine as a reminder chlorine gas is Cl2 similar like hydrogen gas is H2 um, and this one we were able to check it's 70.3 grams per mole so now the next video will be going over the part that we didn't get to yesterday um, it's so if you watch the next video that I'll put up here, I'll let you know that it's for exam to review and we're going over solubility and concentration.